After completing our ICC exams, we flew home to spend a few weeks with our families before the final countdown to leaving the marina. We'd been away from Hot Chocolate for nearly a month, so it was good to be back home. So I got back to the boat yesterday. Um, Adam's been here for a few days, so he did some tidying up, and then I came and created this mess. <laughs> We had just a few stressful weeks to get through our huge list of jobs. I won't go into our prop dilemma, but let's just say it was pretty problematic. This is the really big box. The best things are always in the biggest boxes. I don't know what it is. It's an actuator. What? Have they sent us an actuator? No, it's an actuator control unit. Oh. Everything on the boat is a mess. There's a coat in the sink. It's trying to get some damp off it. <laughs> we can't get to our bed anymore. <laughs> uh, this is our sofa. Looking forward to sitting down and having a relax. This is our other sofa. Just got all the bedding on it and all the cupboards are open and I don't even want to show you the toilet. <sighs> we celebrated Adam's birthday and our two year anniversary with a three euro bottle of Prosecco and a takeaway pizza. We provisioned the boat before our journey to Greece and we had a few cooking disasters. What have you just done, Adam? Oh, I just killed the cake. That's what I see. It's really sad. Adam's feeling really bad right now. Mmm, how good does this cake look? Mmm, completely flawless. Um, oh. Not completely flawless because look at this. It's quite good. We've got jam. We could put a layer of jam on it. Would you like some, some jam? Jam the cake. How does Bob Marley like his donuts? Let's <laughs> jam in. We're jamming. Oh no. What does Bob Marley say when he offers you a donut? I hope I... you like jamming <laughs> oh, too. No. 
Ooh, it's cake time. Ooh. <laughs> it's going to look so horrible. Ooh, it's oh. cake time. Ooh. We ran out of gas yesterday, so today we are trying to make tea and coffee using a well tested and proven that it doesn't work method of kettle iron so maybe we'll get some hot water today we definitely won't be getting any hot food today but we might get hot water today who knows boat life yay yeah we're out of gas again so in fact we've been out of gas for over a week now because because the guy's an idiot because <laughs> he's the gas man took our gas bottles and, and then has decided he doesn't want to give them back to us so we've cooked eggs in the kettle we found in the bin we've cooked pasta in a kettle We've cooked broccoli in a kettle. We had one very naughty takeaway pizza. Because there's only so many times you can eat pasta. And now we're trying something a little new. Oh god. That's a lot of gas. I'm scared. Alright. Blowtorch pizzas. <laughs> or not. Seems quite dangerous. Welcome to Campfire Cooking with Emily Nancolis. Emily, what you cooking for us there? Just making a little luxury wrap. Mm. It's kind of like pizza. It's like pizza but better. It's, it's a all... new invention. More things about me, seldom a word, spoken so quietly, but she sings for me. My lover, she sings for me. Do you think this is covered by our insurance? <laughs> 